today's episode is more about rebuilding the lathe. This is a CQ6125. It is an Australian version of the, well, it's Chinese, but it's an Australian version of the Grizzly G0602. The, the only differences that I'm aware of are in the front apron and the, the lead screw. The lead screw is metric and the front apron has the half nut on the, the wrong side if you use the G0602. Other than that, these machines I think are identical, um, aside from the obvious the gear trains to, to drive that. So this trick will work on the G0602 and probably any other small lathe that you, you might have. Um, this, this trick is called Rolly's Dad's Method and it works on averages. You use it to adjust the, um, the yaw of the headstock and the pitch of the headstock. It doesn't rely on a tailstock. It doesn't rely on chrome chrome test bars or anything like that. It relies purely on the maths in taking averages. Your chuck can have as much run out as, as you can stand. Um, you take the average when, when, when the run out is high and low, you take the average of the two at the headstock, move out to the tail stock end, you take the average of the high and the low there. And if this average is is greater than this average, you know that you need to bring bring the yaw back towards, well, in this case, back towards me. And if it's the other way around, if this average is pointing too far that way, sorry, pointing too far towards me, then you want to turn it around the other way. To that end, um, I've taken the average focus, focus. To that end, I've taken the average here and I've got about one thou of run out right now and it may also be that this is rusty rod um, just because I haven't cleaned it up yet. Um, so it's plus or minus one here, centered on zero, so the average is zero here. And out at this end, it's about plus or minus 10, but the average is, the, the average is actually, I think one towards, towards what would be the operator that way. Um, and on my machine, if I'm working this far out from the headstock, which is about 400 millimeters, uh, if I'm working that far out, I've got the tail stock in, so it doesn't really, getting it tuned this closely doesn't really matter. I mean, you, you probably want to be testing closer up here, perhaps. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm relatively pleased with the results. I'm one thou out over 400 millimeters. So yeah. Next step will be to adjust for the pitch to make sure that it's, um, it's tightened down equally on the four studs in here and uh, that will that will be done for this the headstock will be done then the motor can go in and at the same time I think the motor comes out to about here so I'll put the scales in around here and that'll happen either tomorrow or the day after quick update to the previous video um, so I forgot to actually show the runout and the the averages of the runout. Um, so here I am at the low point of minus eight, and we'll rotate around. There we are, just slightly above eight. Bounced up to nine. That could be a local high spot, but yeah, minus eight and plus eight means the average is actually. The average is on zero, and when I run the carriage back towards the headstock, let's see, is that a good angle? Plus one. minus one. So looks like I actually did better than than I predicted. Um, plus or minus what I can't measure with with this setup. So I'm going to consider that part 
that part done, the next part will be to measure for the pitch.